This is a problem of the president's own making. He's been president for five and a half years. When's he going to take responsibility for something? He's fired up as illegals continue to pour into our country and drain our resources. The president is refusing to go to the southern border to get a look at the crisis. But don't you worry. He did find time to play pool and fundraise this week. Americans are taking notice, and they're not taking it lying down. And then... Well, I'm Eric Bowling. Welcome to Cashing In. Our Cashing In crew this week, Mr. Wayne Rogers, Jonathan Honig, Michelle Fields, and Bob Beckel. Welcome, everybody. Bizarre, aloof, detached, not Beckel. All words Democrats are using to describe President Obama's handling of the border crisis. As the situation intensifies, the president is playing pool, drinking beer, and fundraising, all while he asks American taxpayers for $3.7 billion more to help deal with the illegals. Well, you can count this Texas mom out. It's not right. Now billions of dollars want to be borrowed from the White House to help feed and house them. What about the kids here in our neighborhood, in our country? Not just in this neighborhood, but in our country. All these kids, really? Why can't they go back? I'm sorry that, that the parents are, are in poor living uh, conditions or surroundings or whatever's going on out there. I don't care. I care about what's going on right here in my own backyard, my neighborhood. Hey, Wayne, what the heck is going on? President Obama, lame duck president or just a lame president? Well, Eric, you know, him going down to the border, making a big deal about that, I don't see what, you know, I, you can walk down there, anybody can walk down there and see people streaming across the border. Him going down there is not going to change anything. So I don't know whether he's wasting his time going down there, but what he should be doing is doing something about it. People talk about immigration reform. It's a, uh, they have no idea what that means. You ask somebody, well, immigration reform, the press, what does that mean? Oh, well, it means reforming immigration. Yeah, we know that, but what does it actually mean? You've got to seal the border. That's the first then right. you must right. stop those people coming across. No doubt. Um, we can have this immigration dis discussion in a minute. But, um, Michelle, I'm, let's, let's stay on President Obama here. He found time to drink some beers. He found time to play a little pool. He went to three fundraisers. Michelle, he went to three fundraisers. And, by the way, because he shook Rick Perry's hand, that means the taxpayer is going to be on the hook for a lot of that trip. And that's tens of millions of dollars that trip cost us. Yeah, the president is acting more like the fundraiser in chief than the commander in chief. He's asking for $3.7 billion, yet he does not have the time to go visit a detention center, to go visit the border. This president is more concerned about raising money for the Democratic Party than actually serving the American people. This year alone, he has headlined 33 fundraisers, yet he just wants us to hand over all of this money for problems that he created. This is all of his, this is all of his fault. It's his policy. Policies that have created this. Bob, you want to try and defend this fundraise, drink beer, fundraise, no, I, and the I, border listen, crash? Listen, first of all, I would not have said in my press conference, I don't care about photo ops. I think that was probably not the right thing to say. However, the only thing, if I were advanced man on this, I would send him down there and strap on a gun, which you can do in Texas, and get a bunch of eight-year-old girls and put them out in the desert with a half a canteen each and say, yes, you can go back home. What do you expect the guy to do? Wayne's exactly right. You're going to, in a political year, you're going to draw attention to this? And by the way, well, everybody I raises don't know, money. Bob, don't, a, don't, a, when there's a, when, what about uh, when the people a, who a live on the border who are dealing hold on, with guys, it? Hold on, when there's a tornado that rips, rips apart a town in, in Arkansas or in Kansas, the president shows up. Yeah, I understand that, but this is, this is an entirely different situation. By the way, Michelle, this is not his doing. The Honduras happens yes, to have the is. largest. I know what it's not. It absolutely it, is. Wait a second. I, would, you, would you listen for a second? Bob. Would you listen for a second? Honduras is the largest murder capital in the world. Parents want their kids out of there. That's yes, why they're leaving. My family is well, from what, Honduras. What? I know what the situation there is, and I do know that the newspapers in Honduras are encouraging right. people to send their children unaccompanied <laughs> to America because Obama will give them amnesty. And, and, and let, hang in there, guys. Hey, go ahead, Johnny. I know you want to get in. Let I just want to play this side. Sure. Bob, Bob referenced President Obama saying, this isn't about photo ops. That's why I'm not going to the border. Take a listen to this, Sot. This isn't theater. This is a problem. Uh, I'm not interested in uh, uh, photo ops. I'm interested in solving a problem. So, John, take it from here. And while you talk, if I can get the producers to roll a couple of photo ops that President Obama really set up <laughs> on his own, I'm not sure where his politics are, but go ahead, John. 
Well, that, photo ops are part of being the president, Eric. Sometimes even un unfortunate, uncomfortable photo ops. But that's the point. Where is the president's focus? These days it's on birth control, it's on price fixing, it's on student loans and having beers and having a hit of pot with somebody from Colorado. It's not on what is a real purview of government, to your point, the border, Benghazi, IRS, real issues surrounding government. And, you know, Bob brought up, brought up Honduras. If the president actually had some ideas, if he wasn't just a pragmatist, he'd suggest for example, getting rid yes. of our drug regulations that create the wars, that create the violence that stems so many coming from South and Central America up to the, up to America. And you know so what, Bob? My family didn't come here illegally. The they live in Honduras. They don't come here illegally and break the law. And they're dealing with the same situation as all of these other children are in Honduras. So that does not justify you know, breaking guys, the law guys, and coming the here illegally. To, the other thing to consider is we can't take children from every country that has violence and a tough economy. Yes. We'll be taking literally millions and millions of children. Guys, Everyone. roll this sound bite of President Obama a couple years ago. Let's see how serious he is about border control. Watch. They said we needed to triple the border patrol. Or now they're going to say we need to quadruple the border patrol. Or they'll want a higher fence. Maybe they'll need a moat. Maybe they'll want alligators in the moat. They'll never be satisfied. Well, you know what, Wayne, that was kind of funny a couple of years ago, but not so funny now with, you know, what are 60, 70,000 kids who are storming our southern border right now. Is, is President Obama, does he have any real border security idea at all? I, I don't think so, Eric. Uh, th that's the biggest problem. You know, as I say, I've said ad nauseum on this show, if you start a sentence with the word illegal, you have nowhere to go. So if you're talking about illegal aliens, if they are illegal, you've got to get them back across the border. You must seal the border. And if that requires some outrageous action, he says, okay, fill a moat full of alligators. S go ahead then, Mr. President. I'll take you literally. Now, fill now, a moat now, full Jonathan, of alligators. Jonathan, if that keeps you, them you, from you, coming across the border, then that's what you have to do. Jonathan, you've said in the past you, you're, you're okay with people coming across the border, but tip, historically, typically, um, people who come here and, and immigrate, they, they usually vote Democrat. Do you want 10 or 15 million more Democrat votes in this country? I, I want more working, self-sufficient Americans. So there's nothing wrong with immigrants. What's wrong is dependence. So it's the president's philosophy, not even his immigration policy, that's a problem, Eric. He should say, come here. But you know what? If you can't support yourself, if you don't have a sponsor to support, your, to support you and help you get started, then absolutely, you're not a drain on the American taxpayer. So instead of making that clear, to your point, what does he say? Well, $3 billion. Why? Because we are our brother's keeper. His only responsibility should be to individual Americans not to take care of or facilitate us taking care of anyone else the, but ourselves. The, 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 key, the key word, yeah. the key word, the key word in what Jonathan is saying is, what? is illegal. illegal. If you come here yeah, legally you and that. you are legally processed, that's fine. But if you're illegal, you should go home. All right. So, so Michelle, one of the issues here with, with this money that President Obama has asked for, is a lot of it is earmarked for health care for these, these, these um, illegals. Uh, it's, it's also earmarked for sending them back. Not very much of it. I think under 10 percent of it is earmarked for actually closing the border. Oh, yeah, and there's no accountability. We don't even know exactly where this is going. And then on top of it, there's $600 million that are going to fighting wildfires in the West. I mean, what is this? This is not a real bill that's actually going to solve the problem. What we need to do is secure the border. This isn't even a, just an economic issue. It's also a national security issue. We don't know who's coming over the border. That is an issue. There, 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 is, there has been appropriated hundreds of billions of dollars to close the border. I agree with Wayne. I think if you're going to have reform, you're going to have to have the border shield, and the American people are going to have to believe it's true. Now, I mean, said that, most of the 11 million who are here came here after Ronald Reagan signed the last reform bill, and you know why? Because employers employed these people, and nobody paid a yeah, price for it. And that's good. The reform shouldn't be sealing the border. It should be getting rid of the entitlements. That's the $3 billion, well, whatever, Eric. John, John, it's a John, billion John, dollars sealing this. the border. But, you but, want people but to business come here does work. hire them. Right, right. You know Good. what? We, got, we, we have they to leave They it. become more productive as a result. We have to leave there. It's well, a hot issue. It's going to be a lot more to talk about. I'm going to leave it right there. But, folks, this show right here has emerged as a massive, massive social media phenomenon. Hashtag Cash It In has trended on Twitter every single Saturday for a mind-numbing six months straight. Last week, we broke a record with a reach of over 57 million. So use hashtag cash in and your voice will reach literally millions. Lisa Breezy Sun tweeted, this guy only knows how to pass the blame. Americans voted in a talker, certainly not a leader. 
And I just tweeted this. Whoa, play pool, drink beer, meet a horse faced guy, but no border visit. Welcome okay, to okay, O's okay. World. Hashtag Cashed in Bob. You'll check it out okay. after the show. If you agree with me, by the way, retweet that right now. Coming up.